All right, guys, it's time to cook these prawns. I'm absolutely starving. So we'll just blow on this and get it going. Then we'll put this cast iron pan on. There it goes. Now we got it. Just let that go down to the charcoal, just a little bit more. Burn all that bark and leaf and everything else, fellas, and we'll chop this cast iron pan on and cook some beautiful garlic prawns. Chucking back some cold coals on them as well, fellas, just to get it nice and red hot. This guy, that is nice and hot, that pan. That pan's nice and hot, fellas, so I've got my ingredients just there. So some nice king prawns, a little bit of bacon. I've got some leftover rice and pasta there, because I'm going to make a nice bubble of the squeak dish. And there's my garlic, so let's rock and roll. So usually, fellas, you can use olive oil or butter, but oil would be much better. So we get this nice and hot. And those prawns are raw like that. They're not cooked. And there's one thing I forgot. All right, Thomas, it's really, really hot. Maybe a little bit too much oil in that. So I'll tip it over here. I'll actually tip it on a log here, what I'm gonna burn later, or the next time I'm just cooking. So we'll tip that on there. Might make it a little bit more flammable. Right, and now let's go. The garlic prawn, I mean the king prawns coming. So I'm just cooking them like this. And I won't be peeling them guys. I won't be peeling them. I'm, I'll be eating them whole except for the heads. And that is a beautiful way of eating. Nothing like the prawn shell, it actually tastes beautiful. Now, if you chuck in the garlic, it smells very 
kind of brings back memories of me walking down the street in Thailand when I was in the Navy. The street markets. I think they don't have nice street cooking markets like that here. In um, the cultural centres in Western Australia, like Fremantle, due to the health and all that kind of stuff. You're not allowed. We'll just put a little bit more oil on that, guys. Like, actually, Get too much out. And I would rather be using olive oil. I'm very wary of using canola oil with the or the GM crap they put in everything these days. That is beautiful. So you're just going to stay on that side a little bit more. That pan from the cold oil has uh, cooled the pan down a bit, and the dogs will get to eat these shells. I actually eat from about this section here all the way down to the tail. Beautiful. I think these corns cost about 30 bucks a kilo, probably about average. And heat the garlic, fellas. Keep the garlic winter's coming out so it's good for you. I've got a bit of a cough at the moment, so hopefully I might stop that little cough a little bit. Sophie's very protective, especially when Cindy's near her. Her and Cindy fight a little bit. I'll give Sophie a big smack on the bum. She's learning. Like I say, fellas, it really does smell like the smell of a Asian street market or China. I've been to China before in the navy. In the navy. But once when I was in the on HMO's camera, fellas, we all, the whole crew more or less got sick from some kind of food poisoning, and that was one of the worst experiences I've ever experienced in the Navy. Literally every, you know, I won't talk about it, fellas, but I'll, I'll tell a funny story about it one day. It was one of the most horrendous experiences I've ever experienced. And I was, went up top in the Navy on HMO's camera, the best ship in the Royal Australian Navy. It's been decommissioned now, it's actually been sunk somewhere in Victoria. There is another HMAS Canberra now. This is cooking really, really nice. Pan's really not as hot as what I'd prefer it to be. But they're browning off nice and, nice and good. They'll be just about really nice and cooked soon. It smells absolutely delicious, fellas. So if you ever do come to Australia, make sure you try out garlic prawns. It's an absolute delicacy here in Australia. <coughs> you can hear that noise, fellas. It's a bird. That one. To hear it, but that's a um, crested pigeon calling out for its mate, probably. It's either a crested pigeon or it's a um, a, um, a love dove. You hear them all the time at night. And there's a lot of birds like this in this beautiful tree just above the river. These are definitely ready guys. You just see them just lift one up and it's just starting to kind of fall apart a little bit. So this here is what I'm eating, the whole prawn like that, tail everything. And the dogs can have the heads and they love those and it's good for them. That's beautiful. So I'll put those to one side there. And now 
grab the rest the bacon got some nice bacon there and we'll just let that bacon cook for a little while fellas and then we'll chuck in some leftovers um, and then fellas we'll chuck in this leftover bubble and squeak so that's my original cast iron cooking recipe I did a few days ago the pumpkin pasta and tuna and there's a little bit of rice in there so I always try and make nice bubble and squeak guys when I'm cooking with leftovers and stuff try not to waste too much but I sometimes waste too much more than what I can afford especially veggies got a habit of buying all these nice fresh veggies fellas and I end up not using it but if I don't, usually I'll cook them up and I give them to the dogs as you just saw before when I had that stainless steel pot over this fire. I cooked them up a nice pasta dish. Got no dog food at the moment, but anyway, I recycle a lot, a lot of stuff for the dogs and they eat really, really well. We'll just have that bacon cook for a while, guys, and that turn a little bit crispy. The best way of cooking bacon apparently is leaving it for about seven minutes on one side, then turning it over. And it smells absolutely delicious. The, all the garlic and all the juices are starting to caramelise. Five star cooking guys. An Aussie butler, I am. I always eat good guys, always eat, try and eat good, especially at night, during the day I don't eat the best. So I'm just going to turn this bacon over fellas and we'll put it to one side and then we'll let that cook a little bit more and now we'll chuck in the bubble and squeak. And that is beautiful. This is what you call, like I say, five star cooking outside. And another beautiful thing would make this um, garlic prawn dish, guys, and or the whole dish that I'm doing right now for rice included is nice honey. If you put some nice honey on that, I could, I have got honey. But I'm not really having got a sweet taste tonight. But if you put honey over these prawns and cook them like this, how they are now, and including this nice rice and the bacon, that would be absolutely beautiful. It's a magic matter of using your imagination, fellas, when you're cooking. So easy. It's not that hard. That's another couple of minutes, and that's ready. And a couple of minutes later, fellas, and that is ready. So I'm going to take it off right now and then have a beautiful feed. Work on my videos. Alright, guys, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope your mouths are watering like mine is at the moment. See ya. And here's that beautiful bread, fellas. We'll crack it open. It's a little bit crispy on the bottom, but look at that. That is beautiful. Kind of traditional, I think, to have a crispy bottom on a damper. So I'm going to have that one probably tomorrow for lunch while I'm working. I'll be starting my scrapping tomorrow. So we'll go and enjoy this. fellas so here goes so basically I'll just take the head off like that and we'll give that to Sophie here Sophie good girl and that's it guys just eat the whole shell like that mmm beautiful guys just wish you had a beautiful girl here see ya
Benjoy. Benjoy, good boy. I'll send you your turn. Beauty. Here, Cindy. Good girl. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No. Cindy. Good girl. Here. Good girl.